Super Wild Card Weekend continues. First of three games today. And we're here in Tampa, Florida for the Philadelphia Eagles and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers today on Fox. And now welcome inside the broadcast booth, everybody. I'm Joe Buck. That's the Hall of Famer, Troy Aikman. We were there week six when these two teams went at it in Philadelphia. Now here they are with a winner move on and the loser goes home. And for Tampa Bay, here recently they've lost a lot of weaponry on the outside. Even Leonard Fournette's not playing in this game. But Bruce Arians believes as long as they have their ageless quarterback, Tom Brady, in that good offensive line, they're going to score points. Yeah, no, and that's good reason for him to think that because that's exactly what has happened, like you said, without some really significant players. Now, also in talking with Bruce Arians, he felt that once you get into the postseason, you have to commit to running the football more than what they have in the regular season. But when he told us that, that's when we thought that Leonard Fournette would be in the lineup. So against this Eagles defense, you have to believe that once again, they're going to be throwing the ball a lot with Tom Brady. On that Thursday night in Philadelphia, week six, the fans were just pleading with the coaching staff to run the football. Miles Sanders had only one carry in the entire first half. Well, they're running the ball now, and you just feel like they have to run it well to have a chance today. Well, there's no doubt, and they have run it well since that game. They've run it the best of anyone in the National Football League. That's been the key to all of their success. It's helped Jalen Hurts. It's helped him get the ball out a little bit quicker, the play-action game. It's helped out their defense. There was a time when you played Tampa Bay, you couldn't imagine running the football, but they, they've been a little bit porous here over the last few weeks. Philadelphia is hoping that they can have success on the ground. We march our way toward kickoff before a young quarterback takes on the GOAT. Football coming up from Tampa. 